finished, excuse me, layer one of the washing. So I did the legs, the tail, and I'm going to do the mane and the forelock as well. So because it's windy outside and it's really watery, it's already dry. So, but if you find this, like watering it down to the way you like it, I'm just gonna reach back here. You can use watercolors. I forgot I had these. So you can do. You, you can use watercolors if that's easier for you. So for layer two for the washing, you're pretty much going to do the same thing you did with the brown or whatever color you're doing, except with white, but the white should be really, really watery, so that way it's a really, really thin layer and it doesn't completely block out the color. You want this whole thing, the whole washing. It needs to be watery so that way you get the right effect at the end so just make sure the white is that's not watery really 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 watery like you can see the bubbles but you don't want bubbles so just make it as watery as possible And, um, yeah, so washing, it's supposed to add, like, I don't, I saw it in a video I was watching, and I guess it's supposed to be, like, this gradient kind of thing. That's not watery enough. But it's supposed to be, like, the, you can see like the colors fading that's what I took from it so that's what I did with my other flea bitten one or custom I totally know my words so just keep on washing everything Now I'm going to wash the mane. That's not watery at all. Just wash that out. Wash. So. Okay, now I'm done washing with the second layer. So you can wash for as long as you want. It doesn't really matter, but as long as you get the look that you want, which is supposed to be like, yeah. So you'll see at the end. Now I'll wait for that to dry and then we'll do the third layer of the brown. Alright, so it's already dry, so I'm going to begin washing down again. But this time I'm gonna do it a I'm gonna do it another layer as high as the f the first one. Just so that way we can really get that color to blend in with the white as much as possible. Alright. So there. So you get that whole concept of washing, I hope. So you can do this for as many layers as you want. It's all up to you. So I'm probably going to do this for a few more layers and then 
I'll be done and I'll come back to you when everything is washed. I'm about to do the last layer of the washing and I changed because we left and it's dark outside, it's almost 11.20. We just watched fireworks, so yeah. But I haven't done the last layer yet because I wanted to tell you guys to make sure that you finish out with a strong layer of whatever color you're doing. So since I'm doing brown, I want to put a coat of brown on top of it. I'll show you what I mean. So for my um, washing, I lowered down the um, level brown, or what I did, make the so when okay, so when you're doing the washing, make your very first layer really bright and go like really high, and then you can continue your layers down, making them darker, so that way it looks like it blends into the white. So now what I'm gonna do is add some brown on here. And I'm going to do that for the legs, but for the mane and tail, I'm going to leave it as like the washed color, so that way it's lighter and not so dark. Alright, so I have painted over with the brown. You don't worry, you don't need to worry about the hooves. You're going to do them a different color. And I left the tail and the mane alone. So we pretty much finished finished it. We just need to add some extra detail. 